Well, hello there, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I got out my polychromos pencils, and I'm gonna show you how to color a very sweet puppy card. The stamp set I'm using is new from MFT, and it's called the Wolf Pack, W-O-O-F. It has a whole bunch of very sweet little puppies on it, and lots of fun sentiments to make cards with. And I have stamped onto some drawing paper. And yes, I recommend drawing paper. You can also try some hot press watercolor paper. I tend not to use mine for watercolor anymore. So sometimes I'll use it instead of drawing paper. But the drawing paper that I recommend that's linked in the doobly doo is one that I think works really superbly for colored pencils. I've stamped this in some no line ink. And I've been using it quite a bit lately because I'm enjoying the whole no line thing. And I started by coloring a light gray, a warm gray, that's the same color as the ink, so that I could kind of make those outside lines disappear. I'm gonna make these puppies in my cards today be white body puppies with black spots on them. They would also be cute with rainbow spots and all sorts of fun things that you could do with this stamp set. I went in with a darker pencil to add some darker shading to some specific areas. I don't want to put really that dark color all the way around the whole puppy snout. I just want some areas to be dark. And you might think that that shading that I put under his chin and around his neck is too dark. But I wanted to do that first so you could get an idea of how dark to go by putting now the really dark in on the eye spot and the ear because this is the kind of marking that my dog Vienna has. So I love making spots with her markings. And I'm doing kind of a lighter gray around the top of the ear and then going really dark black underneath of the ear, which gives some definition to the shapes when they're the same color. So just add a little bit of a light highlight on one edge of the ear and it starts to pull that forward. So the rest of it kind of goes back behind. Sharpen my pencil and then go in and add the eye back in. And at this point you could even move the eye or do other things with it in order to change the design up a little bit. But this drawing, this uh, drawing in the stamp has a bunch of spots on it and I decided to keep them on this card instead of just get rid of them. Sometimes I do get rid of them because my dog only has the, the spots on her eyes and then back to her ears and then a, a little spot by the base of her tail. She doesn't have one on her back like this dog does, but I didn't figure I could sort of get rid of that without doing all kinds of crazy pencil work to it, so I didn't wanna go to that length. Again, I'm going around the edges to create this really soft grayish color for the puppy. And even though the dog is white, it comes across as white, even though it's got this gray pencil in it. And the gray pencil is just going to give it some differentiation from the color of the paper itself. And then I'll give it a little white tail. They may have intended a black tail, but mine has a white tail. So that's what I'm going with. <laughs> and then I'll pick a couple of individual areas to add some shading in a darkish gray color. And just using a really sharp pencil will help you to go in really lightly with this. If you go too heavy or you get something funky, get a kneaded eraser and just press it on top of it and it will lift up a bunch of that color, especially if you're working on a drawing paper. And that little crazy sound was my dog Vienna, who's sitting here next to me under my hand while I'm doing this voiceover, shaking her little ears because she decided she wanted to be in the video for more than just... Uh, her coloring as inspiration. So I've added the shading onto the legs and I'll do a little bit on the paws to differentiate them. And this stamp set has a bunch of little things in it that you can also use for your cards. So I have stamped the cake up there in the air. Why have I done that? I'm going to need to add something to it in order for the cake to be something that the dog is begging for. Vienna has become quite the little snack beggar. She actually has learned to sit up on her hind legs if I hold one paw. If I ask her to, to shake a paw, she will kind of sit up and then she'll lift her little body up and then she gets a cookie. So she is she's quite the little beggar just like this. So I've put the cake up high and I'm just going to 
color the cake so that it's more of a chocolate cake because that's what I would have around my house. My favorite flavor of cake is chocolate. Chocolate anything basically it doesn't even have to be cake. Chocolate cookies, chocolate candy, whatever. But the perspective on this piece of cake is a little more like it would be on the floor underneath, you know, underneath the table or something. I would never put a piece of cake on the floor. That would not be how Vienna would get any cake if she got any. And she generally wouldn't get chocolate cake anyway, because chocolate's not good for dogs. So I'm just going to take the table that I'm drawing in here and I'm going to merge it in a little bit with the cake as I start doing my drawing to kind of make it look like the perspective's not as weird as it is. Should be a kind of flat bottom to do a side view. And I didn't think about that before I started doing this. So there you go. I'm using a lighter brown to put the first layer of the table on. And then I'll grab my darker brown to add in some shading on the table leg. And then I'll put some across the side as well. This is where the kind of foibles of the cake will hide and it'll just look like it all blends in together there. And a scene can be as simple as that. It can just be indicating that there's a table somewhere so that you can tell a story with your stamps rather than just try to figure out how to place the object in some weird way, like putting the piece of cake on the floor so that the cake has to be on something. And whatever that something is that you draw in, a table is one of the very easiest you can do. I add just a little tiny bit of shading at the bottom for the dog to stand on, and that's it. I added it to a red layer and then popped that onto a black card base. And I colored some other cards too with the same stamp set. These darling little puppies don't require a whole lot. You can make some nice simple scenes with them. And this one is going to be over on IGTV, on Instagram TV, so you can watch that one over there. And that's about it for me for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button, share it with your friends, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much for stopping by, and thank you for your comments. I always do read them. I love hearing what you have to say. Thanks much. Bye-bye.